hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you for clicking on my video. So today I'm going to talk about the mini square backpack from Fawn Design. I'm super excited about this. Oh my gosh. So I have been eyeing this when it came out in the new Adobe color. However, I didn't want Adobe. So I was hoping that they would do black or brown and so excited. They did black, but they not only did black, they did black in the black matte vegan leather. I'm so excited. So on my channel, we talk about bags and everything that's bothering me. So if you want to join me every Wednesday, click the subscribe button, say hello, let me know you're here. I'm thinking about doing a series of updates as I've hit almost a year. Oh my gosh, can you believe it's been a year? We've been in our homes for over a year. Oh my gosh. So if you're interested, please subscribe, come hang out with me. So I'm going to do a series of videos on the bags that I've already reviewed and a year later, which ones I've kept, which ones I have gotten rid of, and then of course, which ones I will be getting rid of. So if you're interested, join me, yay! Okay, woohoo! All right, so back to the square mini. Oh my gosh, I, I don't know what to think about this, so I'm gonna do a three-part review on three different bags and all the same stuff, so you can kind of get the idea of what it fits. I don't know what to think about this bag because it's such a unique shape, and inside it holds things a little bit differently. So I'm on the verge of using this this week and thought I would share it. I'm a sucker for black bags, so I had to get black. I'm hoping that they come out with a larger style. I love Fawn Design, oh my gosh. I'm not affiliated with them, but I really like their bags. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, kinda know I have a lot of them. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, it is a almost rectangle shape. It does taper in at the top. So it is that beautiful top grade premium faux leather that is matte. Okay, that's a big deal. If you're not familiar with Fawn Design, <laughs> I love the matte leather. I'm not a biggest fan of the pebble leather, so that's the reason that I got this. It does have the fun grab handle at the top. It's also in the vegan faux leather. It has the gold matte hardware. So this is different and this is new to Fawn Design right here. It has two zippers with the tassels, which I think is awesome. It has four exterior pockets and four interior pockets. I can wear this as a messenger bag, crossbody, or backpack, or even on my shoulder, and the backpack straps are detachable, which is awesome. Okay, so the length of the bag is 11 inches long, 4.5 inches wide, and 14 inches high. It is a little bit larger than say some of the smaller bags. Inside the open pocket right here, I would keep my cell phone on my keys. In this front zipper pocket, I have of course wet ones. I also have oh, more wet ones and hand sanitizer. That's for my easy grab. But also I have lip chap and a really fun lip gloss that I've gotten from the Ipsy pack. Fawn design has kind of changed a little bit. They started with a Fawn logo. So it just says Fawn and it's embossed in gold right here. But it doesn't say Fawn design anymore. It just says Fawn. On the back side, you have, of course, the handle. You have two D-rings right here. And if you haven't noticed, they've changed their D-ring. Th this one's really small, but it says Fawn right there in more of an emboss. So it's more minimal than before, which I love. Absolutely love the change to the D-rings. So they have the two D-rings on the top, which are great for the cross body or shoulder bag option, which I will show you what it looks like on the body. The backpack straps are the same faux leather, but also they have the buckle straps. And what I love is they have this extra little, I mean, it's so simple. It's just a piece of the faux leather to hold down these straps. And then the back pocket goes all the way across. And inside I have some masks. So if you've been to Target, you've seen those masks up on the front. Um, I accidentally bought large and extra large, so I'm not really happy with these. This mask, I will link this down below, but let me tell you, this has been the best mask that I've found. Oh my gosh, my daughter has taken the ones that I've purchased, so I will need to purchase more, but it no longer has the elastic right here, so it doesn't hurt my ears. I love that it's minimal. And then it has the wire right here for my nose, so anyone who wears glasses, this is awesome. So this would be 
be the Fawn Design Black Wallet. And as you can see, the old Fawn Design logo right here, but it goes well with this bag and it fits nicely in this back pocket, which you can also put your backpack straps in. If you follow me, you'll know that I've written a series of books and I'm really trying to plot some more. So I'm looking at a bag that will hold all my plotting needs while I work through this. So this is really my plotter's bag at the moment. As you can see, look at this beautiful lining. I think it makes a huge difference in the weight. So I love that they did this lining inside. I love that it matches. I don't care that it says fawn on the inside, it matches. So this is a big deal to me. I'm like so in love with this, I love it. These Jujube set pieces fit absolutely perfect in there. You have a, a cinched pocket right there. Uh, it's similar to the Fawn pack, how they have the pockets. Love that they fit these. these, this is perfect. So I am plotting like you wouldn't believe. So I have sticky notes everywhere and pens everywhere. This pocket right here, I have stuck another B set piece. This is the medium long size. Look at that pocket, isn't it beautiful? So this one, I have another book that I plotted and then tape, scissors, more sticky notes, more flags. I'm obsessed with these. So then in the middle, you could probably stick a little bit more. It does get really tight. I mean, this bag does not hold a lot, especially with the bulky items that I put in it. There is a zipper pocket right here on the back with a really nice zipper. And then I have my glasses wipe and then another lip gloss and I really like this lip gloss I got this at Ulta and then of course more because I love doTERRA and essential oils this bag to me is not really a packs bag it's more of utilizing the pockets that are available because those the, these packs do take up a lot of space oh my gosh so if you follow me you know that I like to plot if you've seen my plot board figured out where to put all my stickies so I have created a book yeah I have a lot of books plotted yes I have um, so as you can see even more space I have plotted I've almost filled up this whole book so I have five books written and I'm working on another one but as you can see it's it's um, breaking on the seams so it's pretty full however I love it so uh, when I first started I didn't really know what the art of writing was so I had to literally learn everything so I definitely needed somewhere to store these and well I love plotting with the sticky notes and so to me this is a great way to be able to take everything so this is book one through four in one solid place so I don't have to carry that massive plot board around uh, but as you can see it's getting super thick super full I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish all of it in this one book but this is what I've been working on so I've been looking for a bag that will fit this massive thing and I probably need to put some kind of uh, see it's definitely splitting so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit all of this in here but woo, yes so I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. And then that's all, as you can see, all my crazy, that's all I really have in this bag, which is so light for me. I don't usually carry that little of stuff. Okay, so this, what? Oh my gosh, wow. If I'm not plotting, I'm actually writing. This bag holds my laptop. Oh my gosh, it's just totally branched up to the next level. So it will fit a 13 inch MacBook Pro in the back pocket. Oh my gosh, that's a game changer. I now officially like this bag so much more. So we really have to check how this bag works on the body. Oh my gosh, we're so excited. So again, I had to purchase these straps. So they don't come with the bag. So the bag comes with the crossbody strap. Uh, I have it on the lowest setting, which I love that there's a small piece of leather right there that holds the strap in place. I love it. This is on the smallest setting of the strap that comes with the bag. So for me, I thought this was a little bit too long. So I opted for the shoulder strap and to give it some fun. Again, thank you so much for watching my video. I'm Jenna Neal. This is the Square Mini from Fawn Design. I'm loving it. Now that I know it, full, it fits my laptop, I'm really excited. I am obsessed with this brand. I wish more bag 
brands would take care of the inside like the outside because that that to me i'm ocd i love organizing things <laughs> i think there's a really there's a certain type of person that gravitates to a black bag and when they want a black bag they really want a black bag for me i don't care if it's a color inside like gray or neutral but when you start doing pink and red and blue and patterns i'm vomiting in my mouth a little bit and well i don't know just me maybe 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 i'm different i don't know but love this bag i love this brand because they do the same and so hence i'm buying every single one of them every single one of them so anyways <laughs> okay well yes all right so i missed you guys i have been on and up and awake at all hours of the night so if you get a random comment from me 2 a.m well yeah i'm really up so thank you for chatting with me because i'm bored um haven't been sleeping yeah, my grandma died and I'm really sad that I didn't get to show her this bag because I've been having a lot of fun sharing all my other bags with her. Um, and unfortunately, sad. it's been a really sad week. Didn't get to share this one with her, so I thought I would post it out there into the world, into the ether. Now, it's a really good bag. I think she would have really liked this one. It's light. We were having problems with the heavy bags. I don't know, I'm a little in a funk, I'm a little in a weird. So again, I'm on all hours of the night. So if you if you are a bags channel or if you really like bags, please say hi in the comments below. Um, if you have your own channel, let me know because I'm clicking on everything these days. So hope you have a really good rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining me. Yay, I missed your faces. Woohoo! Have a good rest of your week. Bye. Okay, there's that.